In this class, I'm going to explain uh, about database stored procedures and how you can invoke them using JDBC from Java. So, I have a stored procedure here. It's a very simple stored procedure. There's a table called products and in that table, I have a column called supplier ID. So, I want to find all the count of the products for a given supplier ID. This is a very simple stored procedure. So basically all it is doing is select count star from products where supplier ID is whatever you pass. So this is a stored procedure. So I'm first dropping the procedure and then I'm creating it. Okay. So a procedure is like uh, a method in, in like Java. It takes some inputs and some outputs. So the input parameters are sent are via via this in in keyword, and I'm saying that sub ID is a input parameter, and it's of type integer type, and this method returns an integer output that can be accessed with the name total, and it is of type output parameter. So what I'm doing is I I run this query where I get the count star from products where supplier ID is what you're passing as input and store that into total. Okay. And since the uh, delimiter for SQL statement is semicolon, while creating this stored procedure, we have to change that delimiter. So we say delimiter dollar dollar. So that means this proce this statement ends when it encounters dollar dollar as the end of the line. So this whole procedure starts from here to till this point. And after creating the procedure, we reset the delimiter back to semicolon. So the way to create this procedure is you log in from MySQL. So I log in into MySQL from the command prompt and then I use the Northwind database and then I execute this file which is contained in count products by supplier.sql. To execute that file, the command here is to say source and give the full path to that file. And when I press enter, there are two statements in there. The first statement will drop the existing procedure and recreate it. So I see two statements called query ok, query ok. The first one is for dropping the procedure and the second one is for creating the stored procedure. Okay, now that the procedure is created, I can call that procedure by using what is called as a call statement. I can say call count products by supplier. I'm passing supplier ID as 8 and my output, I want it to be stored in this parameter called as total. So you have to say at the rate total. Okay, then I'll press enter. So the procedure ran fine. Now I'm going to select this variable called total. Now I see that it contains 4. So if I run that query, select count star from products where supplier ID equal to 8, I should get 4. Same thing I'm getting from the stored procedure as well. So with stored procedures, uh, what you can do, you can have control flow statements inside the stored procedure as well. So MySQL provides if statement, for statement, while statement, you can put all that in the body of your stored procedure. And it can take input parameters and output parameters. And you can also do transaction management inside the stored, stored procedure. So you can execute a set of statements and then if something bad happens, you can roll back the transaction or commit the transaction. So it supports exception handling as well. So, but in this uh, class, I'm not going to explain the details of the stored procedures. I'm only going to explain how you can call these stored procedures from Java using JDBC. So let's look at an example program at how we can invoke this stored procedure. So I'm connecting to my, the URL for my database is the MySQL server which is on my local machine and the database I'm using is Northwind. 
it contains a table called products so if I go into the products I should see that there is a column called supplier ID so I get I retrieve a connection if I if the connection cannot be retrieved I just exit from the program then I create this callable statement and in that I pass I say call the name of the procedure and two parameters that are bound in subsequent statements the first one is a supplier ID so the first one is a supplier ID and the second one I'm registering it as an output parameter and of type integer so whatever I'm calling here if you notice I had called the same thing when I executed the stored procedure from the command line so I say call the stored procedure name and then I pass the first parameter which is 8 which is a supplier ID the second parameter is is the argument in which I'm going to store the output of that stored procedure so here I'm registering that second parameter as a integer and of to and I'm and I'm saying that it is a output parameter then I execute the query and then after executing the query I can since I have registered the second parameter as an output parameter and of type integer I can retrieve that as an int value and that would be the product count and then I print out the product count for the supplier ID is this product count and then I do all my catching the exceptions and closing the callable statement so I close the callable statement over here so now let's run this run, run this program run as Java application and in the console I see product count for supplier ID 8 product count for supplier ID 8 is equal to 4 product count for supplier ID 8 is 4 so this is how you invoke stored procedures from Java using JDBC.